Hi, how's it going? Hi guys, <laughs> how's everyone doing? I like to start a stream with a cocktail, and I was racking my brain trying to figure out, well, what kind of, you know, what, what Japanese cocktail? Do I do a sake cocktail? Do I try to do something, you know, with sort of a Japanese influence to it, since I'm making Japanese pickles and Japanese fried chicken? Um, and then it hit me, do I have Japanese whiskey? Yes, I do. And and I realized there there is something that is so popular uh, that is, it, you can get it on tap, you can get it in cans, or you can make it, and that is a whiskey highball. Um, and so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's real simple. It's, it's whiskey and club soda, and that's it. Uh, you can put some bitters in there. Um, you know, I like a scotch and soda, it's the same thing, but, uh, but with scotch, I like it with Lafroy. But, today, don't forget lemon peel. I got the lemon peel. Uh, I do have a bottle of... Suntory Toki. This is, uh, well, you can actually get Suntory Toki highball. Like, uh, I actually just saw recently, I'm, I'm, I follow a bunch of, you know, cocktail subreddits and, and, uh, and, and whiskey. You know, I follow, like, the whiskey and scotch subreddits and, and everything. And someone posted that they could get the whiskey highball, uh, Suntoki, uh, on tap. And so I, um, I, uh, I was like, okay, well, I've got Suntoki. We can, uh, do have a highball. So I pre-chilled my glass, uh, but that's because I didn't have enough ice. If you're going to like a high-end bar, they're gonna have like shaped ice specifically for their glasses or they'll hand carve it and they'll chill the glass with one set of ice, get rid of that ice, put in new ice and make the drink over that. I've only got so much uh, ice made. I'm actually out there. Gotta make more king cubes. So we pre-chilled our glass because we, uh, we, we, uh, we cheat. Um, so we're gonna do two hours. Beautiful! Ounces. Beautiful! What happened? girl, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you being here. All right, uh, two ounces of our Japanese whiskey into the glass. And then just topping it with cold club soda. You have one awesome kitchen, thank you. I'm gonna give that just a little stir to combine lightly. My favorite way to do a highball like this is uh, is actually with uh, Lafroy. Um, Lafroy and actually a little bit of lemon juice in there, not just the peel, because I find that it uh, I find that the, like the lemon offsets the smoky uh, of the uh, of the Lafroy. Um, we're gonna give that a little twist to twist. Express the oils, rim the glass with it, and shoot that on in. Centauri is closer to Scots than other whiskeys. Um, kind of. So it is. It is a blend. Um, but what I what I'd really say is there's there's some other Japanese whiskeys that are single malts that'll be closer to a to a Scotch. God, that's delicious. God, that's so good. It's so simple. Sometimes. Like, I like a tiki drink, you know, that's got a billion layers to it, but sometimes the best thing is just three ingredients and a little bit of lemon every time. Uh, I read some of the first Centauri whiskey maker spent his time studying it. He's, I, I would not be surprised. But, uh, so, so what's really nice is, is it kind of opens up the whiskey. So because Club Soda, it doesn't have too much flavor on its own, the, uh, the CO2 kind of gives it a little you know, a little hint of, 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 of lemon on its own. That's why you want to put the lemon in there because it, uh, it pairs really nicely. Um, but it, it opens up the whiskey. So rather than getting just an aggressive hit of plain whiskey, you get it kind of all over your mouth, but a kind of a light flavor to it. Um, so I, if you're looking to get into whiskeys or especially getting into scotch and into Eli scotches like Lafroy, things that are are smoky or strong this is a really really good way to do it because it it doesn't dumb down the flavor it just lightens it a bit and it l lets you taste the notes kind of individually and i don't know i think it'd be a good way to uh, to ease you into things so let's uh let's make the thing we said we're gonna make today 
Let's make a pickle. Let's 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 make a pickle. Okay. Um. So the next thing we're gonna want to get is uh, I'm gonna need another bowl because I realized that the bowl I was gonna use I'm gonna use for something else. So. Uh. This is the. Sh There's a bunch of different. Okay. Sukimono is the general term for Japanese pickles. Shiozuke is the salt pickles. That's what we're doing. So, number one, you get you a cucumber. All right, we're gonna trim the butt off. And you can kind of cut them as thick as you like, thick or thin. Um, I'm terrible at cutting them straight. So mine are all gonna be weird angles and whatnot. But uh, you're, you, I, don't, I don't know how to describe that thickness. That thickness, make them that thick. like. Eighth of an inch? Quarter, quarter, eighth? I don't know. Cut your cucumber. Um, or if you've got radishes, you can do radishes. Uh, if you've got carrots, carrots good. I've seen this done with eggplant too. Um, so it's totally up to you, like what, what fresh veggies you like. It's really good with daikon. Just like use, use fresh veggies and uh, you can use a mandolin if you want them even and perfect, but we don't care about even and perfect. We're just trying to make something that tastes good. Alright. So, once you got a bowl full of uh, cucumbers, we're going to uh, set that right there. Grab a uh, little measuring spoon or something, or eyeball it if you're good at eyeballing things, which I'm not. Measure. We're gonna sprinkle some salt on there, about a tablespoon of kosher salt or sea salt, some kind of coarse salt. If you just have like table salt, that's cool too, like that works. And we are going to massage all that salt into the cucumbers, try to get it on every piece. Kind of try to layer them about as flat as you can. in the jar or bowl. If you're using a bowl, lay them flat in the bowl. Try to get them flat. That's, they don't have to be perfect. We're going to add a couple more things to this. I'm gonna do a spicy batch. So we're gonna add some chili in there. You can use chili flakes. Uh, if you have like gochugaru, um, the, um, the Korean chili powder, that would work really well as well. Even a dried chili or a bird's eye. I've only got serranos. So we're gonna cut a few kind of just angled pieces. We're gonna leave the seeds in because I'm making this batch spicy. Okay, and then the next thing is kombu. This is uh, Japanese kombu. Mine come in sheets. You might get little, uh, you know, sometimes you can get them pre in little bows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, if it's dried, and rinse it to rinse some of the salt off of it, and uh, it'll soften it up a little bit too. Then you're just gonna kind of fold that up. You can tie it in a little bow if you wanna be fancy. And you're gonna set that right on top with your chilies. Now, if you are doing this in a bowl, uh, you can get a little small plate or something that fits within that bowl, set it on top, and uh, put some cans or, or something on top to weigh it down. I have fermentation weights, so I'm going to be using those. But uh, it's totally up for you what you have and what you have available. Again, if you're in a bowl, a little, little another bowl on top of it in a can. You just want to weigh things down. So, this is how much brine is going to get squeezed out of your, your cucumbers by uh, the weights and the salt. And uh, it could be too salty. Um, first time I tried uh, making this, it ended up being, it ended up being really salty. And so what you can do at that point is pour out half of your liquid and replace it with water and let it sit for another two hours. 
uh, and that'll be a little more of the, uh, and that'll make it a little less salty. And, uh, but you still get the kind of pickly, salty kombu flavor. Excuse me. So I have these, I'm gonna set these aside while we uh, work on the other stuff. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you come follow me on Twitch and you can watch all the cooking streams live. If you have a minute, check out badgerfood.club where you can find recipes, articles, and more.